Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Sketch Sunday. 30 days of sketches revisited from Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life, her lovely, lovely series. And this week, Christy chose the sketch and is joining us. Uh, so, of course, but every week her channel is listed below so that you can go back and look through the playlist. She has two playlists, actually. She has one which was from the Series 5 in which she was kind enough to put um, Crystal's videos, my videos, and a lot of the videos of people that were playing along on different days. And then she has a full playlist of all of the series. And this one... We are going back to the original series and day, I believe it's day nine of the original series. I'll correct myself if that's not quite the case down below. And I think you need to go back and look at Christie's um, video for this one because as I'm reading her post here that she put on Instagram that I printed this from, she had created a TN spread with this sketch. And isn't that just such an awesome idea? This sketch is perfect for that. Uh, I didn't think of that. It's a lovely, lovely sketch from Creative Scrappers. So from uh, our lovely friend, Christine Davidson. I love her sketches. And so here is what I did. And I love this page. I had so much fun. And these are very mundane photos. And you're going to say, but you use such beautiful paper and gorgeous little bits for such a mundane page. And yeah, I did. I did because it makes me smile and I figure in my album this is going to go into my COVID album we are almost almost at the end of that album so there will be a share came, coming up very very quickly and I used here bits left over mainly from the gorgeous pink paisley fifth and monaco this lovely paper is fifth and monaco and I believe yeah and this one is as well so they are both from fifth and monaco and then i just put this little um border strip down here down in the middle i probably really didn't need it at all because you can hardly see it but it does peek through here and it does you know peek through at the bottom and the top and i always find that that finishes off where two pieces of paper join one another so basically all of this layout is and it's just fun is getting those two patterns together as the background, creating a line, getting your photos, and then just filling in all of those little areas around the photos with on here circles and some flowers. I use circles, butterflies, hearts. I went a little bit to town and I have three photos as opposed to two. They are fairly small photos, so I thought that would work. And this is basically recording the start of mandatory mask wearing here in Quebec as of July 18th which you see here is just basically what I used as a title here in Quebec um, you must we must wear masks indoors everywhere all the time if we are the from the age of 12 and up so this is the little thing that the government put on their website that you could print out and use if you did not have your own. Uh, so in French, of course, and in English, here I wear my face covering. Um, and then here is the one that we did at the bakery, you know, welcome. Um, face coverings are required in store as of July 18th. And I will have a companion page to this a little bit about my nephew. The first couple of days, we used to laugh being a little bit sort of policing the door a little bit and helping out because in the first couple of days, people, I would say most people took to it very, very kindly and we're all wearing our masks and some of us are trying to coordinate them a little bit with our clothes and everybody is is getting into it. But for the first couple of days, some people would forget. So we would have the disposable ones available that we could give to them. Uh, we took a few orders outside because outdoors, um, as long as there is the physical distancing, the masks are not uh, required. So that's all that my photos are. And the little journaling is just that. The day that wearing masks indoors everywhere became mandatory. Joey, sometimes 
needs to act a little bit of, as a policeman at the door. That was only in the first in the first few days. And then I just went into my scraps and I got and I had this lime green and you'll notice there isn't really lime green anywhere, but I just loved the pop that it gave with these colors. I did take some and match this little darker green here to put it in there as well. I took this random because it had a little bit of blue that was in here. Uh, this uh, lovely sticker as well because it had the blue and it sort of had the pinks. And I just went to town. I had two hearts left from a Vicky Booten 12 by 12 paper that were in my bowl, so I fussy cut them out. Um, you'll say you're putting hearts on. Well, yes, they're pretty and they go there. And, you know, it's just something we need to do and something um, that we need to be responsible about. So hearts are on there. Butterfly, the very last cocoa vanilla butterfly that I had, fussy cut that out. Did a couple of banners. So I just went down and filled this in. A couple are popped up here on Pop Dots. Another little nod to my lovely friend Christina. This is one of the new transparent stickers that she uses to seal the glassine bags that she puts some of our goodies in. So I have been wanting to get this one of these on a page. So it's on a page. And this little area here was perfect for the title. So mine is a little bit higher maybe, perhaps where she put the journaling, but I put my journaling only on this side. And this 18 July will act a little bit as a title. So there you go. So that is my take on this week's sketch. Make sure you pop on down below, of course, and pop over to Christy's channel. Make sure you pop over and see what Crystal, her gorgeousness for today, and Amber's awesome project over on Instagram. And we will see you again soon. Thanks for being here. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.